Hello? So the first thing, just to start, I just, I, if each of you could do, uh, just tell me about the characters that you play in this, if we can start with you, Wes. So, um, <laughs> um, Thomas is a security guard of a parking structure building, he's, um, uh, he's, um, lonely. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, he's just got a strange existence, hard to really explain, except for the, the guy needed to meet more people, I think, when he was younger. <laughs> Okay, Rachel? Um, you know, Angela, you see at the beginning of the movie, and she's very clearly defined and sort of set up as <clears throat> a young executive working her way up the corporate ladder. And she's young and ambitious and motivated and all those things that, you know, you'd want from your, from your heroine in a film. And then those things change as the movie changes. I mean, when she wakes up and she's being held captive, she becomes a different person. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, that was one of the most interesting things about her is the place where she starts and the place where she ends up are extraordinarily different. And she, it's fight or flight, and she fights to survive. And that's, that's kind of, that's her mentality in the beginning, whether she knows it or not. It's just proven to us the length of the film. Hmm. Now, you have some real challenges in this film, I think, as far as physical challenges. You went through a lot. <laughs> we're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, tell me about it. What were some of the things you had to go through? How long do you have? <laughs> Not very long. So. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, the bruises are gone. I have a few scars. Yeah. I'm scared of dogs. <laughs> so I had to work a lot with Rottweilers, which, which was... Um, Petrifying, to be honest. Um, water. I had to work with water yeah. in that elevator scene, um, and that was also petrifying because I'm defective and I can't swim underwater without plugging my nose. So uh, <laughs> that always puts me a little bit on edge. And I was covered with blood, and um, I had to drive a car handcuffed. <laughs> that was hard as well. Barefoot. And barefoot. I was barefoot the whole movie. That's a pretty good challenge. What, what, what was the most challenging for you, Wes? Um, Watching me. Sure <laughs> <laughs> Checking your pulse. <laughs> Making sure you didn't slip somewhere. Um, uh, challenging, um, you know, I was lucky enough that it, I didn't have to deal with things like that. I had big boots on and ice shirt. <laughs> Just a little bit of blood. <laughs> yeah, well covered. Didn't have any water. The dog liked me. <laughs> yeah, the dog hated me. Yeah. Apparently, yeah. apparently. Now, now, your character actually, as far as any humor in a film, it seems to come from your character. It's kind of this black humor out of your character sometimes. Now, do you think your character knew he was being funny, or is he so disconnected that? No, I think what's funny is when somebody doesn't realize how you know, you know, you know that person who's so weird and says the weirdest things, and like, in the, and everyone's fascinated by them, so they go home and talk about them. And how weird they are. That's I think that's Thomas. He has no idea. He just continues to roll on, you know, like um, because of his lack of connection with people. He doesn't. He doesn't know what's funny or not. You know, I don't think really. Mm -hmm. you know, like that's why the strange jokes about driving drunk or <laughs> are you in the midst of I'm trying to lose my job like here? Right, lose his job. <laughs> yeah, he's disconnected. Okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> So, uh, what are you hoping that people are going to get out of this film when they see it? Um, I think, you know, in the, one of the most important things in the thriller genre, or at least for me, because I, I have to enjoy watching films of, mm. of that nature, um, one of the most important and fun things is when you see a lead character and as an audience member can envision yourself in that kind of peril, in that kind of situation. Now, clearly I'm not talking about envisioning yourself as Wes, because that would be... <laughs> um, but that's, that's the thing that I like about it. I think anybody can watch this movie and think, that could be me. That could happen to me. And I think that's what makes the thrillers on the work, especially in a movie like this. Okay. What, what do you think, Wes? Yeah, um, I, I would say I agree with that. that what's scary I want them to be scared. I want them to be. I want them to not 
I want them to enjoy their fear. I, you know, I I think that's what I liked about Thomas is that um, I really wanted people to like him and not like that they like him. <laughs> and that that can happen in real life. You have no idea who can be doing the things that they do, who can pull off some of the... Right. Like, you never know. Wretched things. Yeah, you never know. It's the guy next to you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I enjoyed the film a lot, and I thank you for it. Thank you so much. Okay. It's, it's been fun. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.